Hi, everyone. Welcome to Domain Sherpa, and thank you for tuning in to the podcast with the best domain name and digital asset content in the world. Today's episode is Domain Sherpa Review, titled Winners and Sore Losers, featuring Amar, Jen, and Drew, who just returned from his trip to Laos as part of his ongoing adventures in the Far East. And on today's show, we skip the domain game, and we get into a recap about the ICA meeting that just happened last week in Las Vegas. It was a fantastic event, and the ICA team did an amazing job from the AMAs to the guru tables to the extracurricular activities. It was awesome. They're doing great things for domain investors and will continue to do so. So if you're not a member yet, be sure to get your membership so you can support, participate in next year's meeting, and also get all of the other benefits in the meantime. And then we've got the Namejet and a Jet segment sponsored by Namejet. And we talk about some domains coming up for auction, including jab.com, stacy.com, and artinstitute.com. Then we hear more about Drew's travels. And we also talk about 2024 and what we're expecting this coming year. Spoiler alert, expect the unexpected. And remember, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast you can also watch the video version at domainsherpa.com and in our youtube channel at ds.tv you can also listen to the shows on apple and spotify and other podcast platforms as well and please make sure to hit the like button the subscribe button everywhere that you can and help domain sherpa grow the pie we also integrate our shows now with muse.ai which provides new search functionality for the shows and transcripts as well so definitely check all that out and props to our sponsor dan.com the number one place in the world to buy and sell your domains with a special platform made for domain investors. And finally, special shout out to our own business, Media Options, the number one domain brokerage in the world, specializing in domain acquisition, sales, and appraisals. Find out more at MediaOptions.com, where you can also sign up for our newsletter for the best domain names and domain opportunities available in the market every week, and also featuring key insights and other helpful information relating to branding, naming, and domain investing. With that, it's now time to get into this episode of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. So let's go. What's up, Sherpa Network? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jonathan Tenenbaum, a.k.a. JT, a.k.a. J on, a.k.a. Sherpa Winfrey, a.k.a. John Burgundy. And I'm the host and producer of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review where we get into the minds of successful domain investors using real examples so we can learn strategies and tactics to become more successful domain name investors ourselves. These are the experts, the OGs, the best in the biz. Four segments to Domain Sherpa review. Not sure if we're going to do them all today. we got the grand opening. We've got the domain game. We've got name Jake going to Jet. We've got grand closing for anything we haven't talked about and what's going on in the domain space, looking at the market trends, current events, and anything our guests want to talk about that we have not already covered. So with that, let's go ahead and introduce the Sherpas over to my right. I got my boy, Andrew Rosner, a.k.a. Morpheus, a.k.a. the Dirk Diggler, Digital Assets, a.k.a. Bob Lee Swagger, the Sniper, a.k.a. Drew. Drew got what I need, a.k.a. Every Rosner has its thorn, a.k.a. Never going to give Drew up, a.k.a. Cancel Adams. AKA Beast in the Far East. What's up, dude? How we living? What's happening? Yeah, living good, man. Living good. Just uh just returned back to Thailand from uh Lao. And uh and for all y'all who don't know, you don't pronounce that S on the end. You feel me? Ah uh, Okay, okay. The I, but I, I I do want to give a shout out to Lao because I'm telling you, man, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And not just the nature and the architecture and the whole bit, but just like the people, the literally just the most sincerely kind, like, I mean, it's like 99.8 Buddhist, right? 8% Buddhist, right? So these people are, you know, they're just like literally on a different vibration than everybody else I ever met in my life. Like, they're just on a different vibration. They are so just sincere and authentic and just kind and eager and just they want to help mm. and uh they want to satisfy and they're just amazing people amazing people and amazing food and you know what's wild is like literally as far as i can tell at least where we were in luang prabang uh all of the food is organic Right. And I think that that's a function of literally like these farmers are too poor to even buy fertilizers and chemicals and all that stuff. Right. And so they're usually, they're literally using water buffalo shit for fertilizer. Uh, seems to work very well. Uh, 
it's just you know they got amazing soil it's 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 wild man we ate well we lived well uh it's a beautiful place it really is and i would encourage anybody with the opportunity to go to go because i have a feeling china's china's in there big they're building dams they're building bridges they're building buildings that don't fit in with the you know unesco world heritage architecture uh just last week i think or two weeks ago there was an article in new york times talking about how uh, Luang Prabang might lose its UNESCO World Heritage status because of some of these, you know, interventions from China. Uh, they're making big investments there, and and I have a feeling, you know, within a decade, you won't recognize Lao uh, for what I saw, you know, in this trip. And you know, speaking with Matt Overman, who was there 20 years ago, I think it's already, you know, a world of difference from what it was 20 years ago. After it, you know, it, it, it basically since Vietnam War had been completely closed, nobody in, nobody out, like North Korea until 1990 when it started opening up and it wasn't until really the late 90s when tourism started to you know become a thing and so it's you know uh it, it, it's an am- amazing place amazing place very cool man well definitely put it on the list you know yeah. by the way as somebody who is literally one of the most hardcore coffee drinkers on earth like i would be hard pressed to I, if there's somebody drinking more coffee than me they Probably have, drinking my, gonna co- have drinking my coffee right now. They're, you know they're, they're gonna they're gonna have a short lifespan. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lao, straight up, hands down. Somebody who lived in Panama, which is supposed to be the best pan best coffee in the world, like literally year after year after year for like 15, 20 years now. Um, uh, I would say Lao is the best coffee I have ever had. Personally, obviously, it's a personal, you know, taste. It's a taste thing. Hands down, and I'm uh, Thailand. By the way, also has amazing coffee. But Lao is the best coffee I've ever had. I don't give a shit if you drink a coffee from the little street vendor who's literally making out of his little junky, rickety, you know, rickshaw, or you drink it in a fancy cafe, or you drink it in an Amman resort hotel, or you drink it everywhere you go, you get an amazing coffee. Wow, amazing! Best coffee right. I ever had anywhere on earth. Forget Damn. France, forget Italy, forget Boom. Panama, forget Get it. anywhere else I ever been. Lao holds it down for coffee. Lime Obviously, you must have already had like three cups today. Later let's go. this year from Lao. Let's go. All right, I've- let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, dope, man. All that sounds amazing. Uh, definitely a lot of bucket list stuff happening there and uh, all super, super cool. All right, well, let's keep it moving because we're still doing the AKAs and the introductions. To my lower right, we got my girl, Jen Sale, a.k.a. Aussie Osborne, a.k.a. Olivia Newton-Jen, a.k.a. Rocket Al Dundee, a.k.a. Dingo Star, a.k.a. Melbourne to be wild, a.k.a. Sipping on Jen and Juice, a.k.a. The Ever Queen, a.k.a. Jen. If you have to ask how much it is, you can't afford it because our stuff never goes on sale what's oh, up damn. oh damn <laughs> <laughs> let's go That's, uh, by the way ever queen is good is that yeah. new it's new ish you know what i'm saying it could be it could be new it, for you big boy was, you know what i'm saying like you know yeah there was a lot of new stuff in there <laughs> so I like yeah. it. hey what's up how are you jen what's happening happy new year all that good stuff what yes. is going on happy new year i haven't seen you guys well, I didn't see a ma at the Christmas Sherpa. Mm. <laughs> and, yeah, too, um, and then too I, much notice. Yeah. Thanks, JT. Yeah, I try to give everybody hey. as much time as possible, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just hey, too hey, much. Hey. I got three hours today, Ma. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <It was seven. laughs> and for what it's worth, this works great. This is the best timing for you for a show ever because, you know, we're super late my time and because of Drew. Yeah, being- this is the most polite time that you guys have ever, like, Showing me, so thank you for putting your manners back in. And I like it. Um, (laughs) Good time for wine. Oh, there you go. Well, who says you know? It's meanwhile, it's like ten thirty my time. I'm drinking coffee because it's like, oh no, that's gonna be it's gonna be a rough. Hold on, don't tell. I was uh, just informed that my headset's going to die. So hold on, I need to. Oh, you charge that puppy. (laughs) Yeah. So wait, let's do a little, uh, 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 you know, time shout out. So for me, it is exactly 10 o'clock or 10 whatever 10 or 5 what is it for you jen it's like 1 p.m yeah yeah i for me 10 a.m 10 a.m 1 p.m 7 p.m 7 p.m 7 p.m 10 p.m baby 10 p.m you know what i'm saying we're doing it that's a pretty reasonable hour for everybody 
Yeah, this actually works out pretty good, all things considered. The reason we can't normally do this kind of time is because when you're in Lisbon, it would be 3 a.m. your time, and yeah. that just knocks it completely off the table, you know? So Yeah, yeah. And but, and I am the one that pays for the microphone, right? So It is. You know, you're also, the, you know, and your money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> well, let's man. go. Let's what go. A, what a fucking dick. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's it. listen. Have I ever... Have I ever claimed to be anything else? No. Hey, look, I, like I've t- I've t- I tell people all the time, and they're like, he's such a jerk. I'm like, no, nah, you know, here's the thing. He's just very, you know, he's transparent on how he feels. He's not going to pretend to like you if he doesn't, you know, or like something. If That's he right. And I think, and, and I think that he's not, he's still got his soft little teddy bear side and we oh, get to see it sure. every now and then he's out there trying to buy Falcons at the wet market and set them free. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> let's keep going with the introductions. Uh, we back from a good Billy cut, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, down below me, we got my boy, Mark Cuba, AKA King Cuba, AKA Danny ocean, AKA the even greater Gatsby. Don't chase an unworthy dream. Y'all AKA Marzan, AKA Cuba Libre, AKA Josephine's husband, which would make him the pussycat, aka Kuba Soze, aka aka a ak forty seven l l m r j. What's up, man? How you doing? What's up, man? Hey, so we got to hang out. So let's, this is a good segue by bringing you on because we just got to hang out in person in Vegas at uh, at the at the uh, ICA meeting, which was uh, I thought was great. I thought they did a fantastic really job. Big big shout out to Camilla. Big shout out to Zach, to Nat, to the whole team. Um, big shout out to Billy who was out there lending a hand on all the AV stuff. I mean, he literally was working like full days, you know, make sure Billy, you send your bill directly to them, please. But, um, (laughs) you know, and, uh, but no, I thought it was really, really awesome. I think they, uh, we were not there last year, but you know, it looks like it was, you know, 50% increase in the amount of attendees. It's getting getting bigger every year and they're doing a great job. Uh, very worthy. Uh, it's great. Yeah, no, I mean, and, you know, and I, I love the, uh, so we did an extracurricular day, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we had the Cuba Cup, which is the pickleball tournament. You know, big shout out to uh, Steve Kennedy, first place, Amar, second place. Wait, wait, hey, hold Allen on, if it was called the place. Cuba Cup, should, shouldn't it have been a cup? Shouldn't the trophy have been a cup? I, I thought about that after, but at least I made a fucking trophy. How about that? <laughs> exactly. <All right>. Like, <laughs> talk about like, man, you know what I'm saying? Looking to gift horse in the mouth. And he's like, yo, but time out. He's like, if I would have won that shit, that shit better have been a cup. So, yeah, that's but, what I'm saying. I, I but thought I will about say, it. I so, think it was Josephine's idea to have like a big cup that you could hold up over your head. And, oh, yeah, yeah. Like straight yeah, up like US like, Open style. Like sta- yes. You're like, yeah. it's kind of standard, or, Amar, actually. Well, so, we could, um, look, what we could do is we could have like a Stanley Cup. We have a Cuba Cup, and every year the winner puts their name on it. Oh, I like it. I'm I'm definitely going to win it this year. You know, we got me and my boy Brian Harvin got robbed. I'm not going to get too far <laughs> into the weeds on that. You know what I'm saying? But we kind of got robbed in the, uh, the the final sort of extra qualifying round. But you know, like it happens. You know, I never really played before, so I'm all right with it. J- JT, but, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I think you are going to be a beast next year because. Like you, I could see you're, you're fucking, you were like, had the eye of the tiger. You were I was locked in, man. I was locked in. You would have been proud. He was just like, so fucking focused. Right. See, it's very difficult for me to imagine being proud when, (laughs) you know, he had a a subsequent (laughs) loss to Paul Nix, who happened to have also been the guy that beat us in volleyball in Lisbon at the... Why I mean, you got no, even? I wasn't so, even gonna put it out there. I didn't want to give I, Paul that credit. You know what but I mean? Right, it's very difficult for me to. Uh, it's very difficult for me to. You know. All right, fine. I'm gonna. Go, all right, you know, for the audience's either. benefit. You know what? Here we go. Look, here's the deal. Dan.com, <laughs> after that, GoDaddy. Yes, they are a sponsor, but we're about to keep it really real right now. <laughs> so Paul and Alan were playing. Myself and Brian Harbin. By the way, big shout out to Brian. He was carrying us in this game, and it was for the last two spots of the the knockout round. Even though technically. You know, we were kind of doing Alan a favor because he had to play Steve Kennedy twice. You know, it's all this sort of stuff. So we're like, all right, we'll do him a favor. We're playing so, this game. So what's that? Is Steve Kennedy like a? Is he like a straight he's very football good. G? He's very yeah. good. Yeah, he's a, he's not as like he's not Josh Reason good as far as I know because Josh is like. What was Josh there? No, no, he was at like literally playing in a pickleball but, tournament. But what like is on the on the pro circuit or whatever it is he's what doing. What is Josh right. Reason's? Let's come. I'm gonna you keep telling your story. I'm gonna check something. All right, because right. there's like. 
pickleball handicaps. We really shouldn't even get into too much of a pickleball discussion without having Josh on the show, or we should bring Steve yeah. on the show too. That would be cool and I have them like, that. but I think Steve would even say like, Josh is on another level, you know, but Siger's pretty good. Braden's trying to play, you know I mean? They, you know, people out there putting in that work. Right. Um, anyway, so we're playing doubles and I didn't realize this until we were already in the last minute, I guess, but we're supposed to be playing a seven and there was also a time constraint that said, I guess that was like, oh, hey, if the if the clock hits 245 or something, the game's over, whatever the score is at. So it was six to five them. And then they like deliberately held the ball for the last like 30 uh, seconds. If, if, if they did you know that, that's cheap. If they did that, that's I just I, I told him it was soft. And you know what I'm saying? I thought it was soft. They took the they took the win home without finishing the game. Because they were like, nope, nope, it's a time limit. And I'm like, I didn't even know there was a time limit. But that's fine. It's okay, guys. I'm not bitter about it or anything. But to their credit, um, actually not to their credit. You know what I'm saying? It was soft. It was weak. But it's Jen, okay, guys. Jen, it's okay because it's the same time. A, no, Jen needs a private therapy session with JT after. <laughs> Just like I say, when it's fine. When I say it's fine, we've got a business like life coach that we work with who's fantastic, by the way. And she's like, Jill's like, yo, when you say it's fine, Shout JT, out Jill. Yeah, she's like, when you say it's fine, I know it's, you're not saying it's fine. You're just sort of moving along the conversation or whatever. But um, no, but hey, to their credit, they both played very well to the fact, you know, they were ahead of us. I thought it was a little bit weak sauce, but I also like those guys. We hashed it out at the bar afterwards and cleared the air over a drink or two. So I can't say I'm too mad. Plus, I got I do have mad love for those guys. And uh, and shout out to Paul, because, you know, he did get us a volleyball in Lisbon. I told him we got to move on to the next sport, which is going to be basketball. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm 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 good with that. We'll just have to see where we go after that, you know. Are you, so. We saw. Are you giving up on pickleball? What's going on? No, here? no. I'm ready to get rock and roll. And I said when I'm when I get back to Jacksonville, Brian and I are going to be training like Rocky. With Josh <laughs> Reason is going to be like the you know like our coach. I'm We're flying dying. out, dude. I'm flying out. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to get after it. No, but jokes aside, I thought pickleball was a lot of fun. As somebody who really pre previously, I'd kind of, you know, hit the ball back and forth a little bit with my kids in the, you know, in the driveway, but playing was actually really cool. I really enjoyed that a lot. And, uh, I wasn't much of a tennis player and, but, but the ping pong player in me really liked it. And, uh, it was cool. It was a vibe. What I really loved about it from a conference perspective. So there was the pickleball thing. There was a hike option. There was the mob museum and a bunch of stuff. And, um, I love the extracurricular piece. In fact, I think conferences should start doing that and almost plug it in. Now, this wasn't a very long conference, so there wasn't really much of an opportunity to have, but it's almost like you could do something like this in the middle of a conference, I think, as opposed to the way Namescon would kind of stick the extracurricular sort of fun day, Sunday fun day or whatever at the end. I feel like this gave you more of an opportunity to like hang out right. and really vibe and network with people and like, you know, catch up with people like in a really cool way was putting us, you know, in this little gym for three hours or whatever, while everybody was like, you know, vibing with something that was kind of also a discussion point as it was happening, you know, and it was really a really cool, you know, fun way to spend time with people and like catch up with people. So, and, uh, and we played Miller a couple of times. We beat him every time we played him. So just big <laughs> shout out to Miller. So that, you know that's saying? really the only thing that's important. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so I'm just saying, just saying. <laughs> Um, you know, although he hit the, he ran into the net one time. I was legit worried for him. I was like, dude, you okay, bro? You know? Yeah. He said, he, the that's, cab, yeah. That's, cab that's on the way call, back. Like, that's what we call bonus points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're in the cab Billy on the way that. home. He's like mixing his words up. No, like, don't you dare that. cut that. No, we're not cutting any of this stuff. Hey, look, I can admit that we lost. That's it's all good. Hey, I want to, I want to give a shout out to Billy. I really, uh, and I'm, of course, you, JT. I really had fun hanging out with you guys. That yeah, was... no, look. The Billy, 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 Billy's the truth. Just, you know, Billy is literally, he, Billy's like Robin. You know what I'm saying? He's like the unrecognized superhero. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He, Super Billy true. holds it down. Billy holds it together. Yeah, yeah. It's true. So, Agreed. Billy's the glue. And, uh, I was trying to, I was, I was trying to help him. Uh, I was trying to wingman him a little bit on Saturday night, I think. What, oh, yeah, the last was, night I was already night. gone. Yeah, I was already gone. He told me that y'all were hanging night, out at the, the bar at the, the hotel and stuff. We had a good time that night. Yeah, the, the night of the mentalist. Um, 
But yeah, no, hey, so, but I thought that it was really fantastic. I thought the extracurricular stuff was great. It was great seeing everybody. I will say that, you know, even though it was probably a third or a quarter of the people, you know, the size of the shows at NamesCon, I don't, you know, obviously there were people we missed there, Jen and Adam and others, you know, but, you know, the people that were there were a lot of people that I would expect and hope to see at those domain conferences, which was great. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of people with some fantastic feedback around Domain Sherpa, uh, which I thought was really cool, you know, uh, a lot of love out there for that. And, uh, yeah. And again, I thought the ICA did a great job. I think they're doing some really good work. I think we covered some, some, you know, important bases on different things while we were there and, uh, all in all, I thought it was a big success. So again, big shout out to the ICA, big shout out to Cam, Zach and team. I, and I just, I hope that they can kind of keep the same vibe as it gets bigger. Cause I'm, I predict it's going to be over 200 next year and yeah. Um, I think like, they can look, I mean, you know, you're talking about, we're out in Vegas where we've been to names cons that have had over, you know, 1200, 1500 people. Um, you know, and even those are such baby shows compared to the big auto shows and the home shows that bring in tens, right. hundred thousand people. And, well, uh, but then, you know, this is a, this is a very small industry. No, no, I know, but that's my Rel- point. I relatively think that, speaking. Yeah. But I think it is still, you know, I think until you get, you know, it'd probably have to be three times the size before I think it would start to feel like very, like, you know, almost too spread out. Assuming that that's, you know, that that's what we want to do is to keep it somewhat, you know, intimate and stuff. But, you know, it definitely gave you enough time. And, and like I said, that's where the extracurricular stuff is cool. A couple of the right. you know, other events. I'd know, probably add one, I think I'd add one more night, right? Like, or one more day, because I, I think your idea is good to sandwich the activity day in between. So maybe have uh, like an intro day that's light content, right? Mm-hmm. Content light, activity day, and then the main day. And then, uh, you know, bounces after that. Yeah. yeah. But either way, like, I, I like the, the not too much content. I like that the content's basically AMAs and conversations, right? Like those guru tables. Um, I don't want a fucking speaker. I don't want, you know, those kind of things. We don't need keynotes, quote unquote keynotes, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Unless they're yeah. going to be, you know, super rare or interesting people. Yeah, yeah, with it. Yeah. So, are you guys, any of you, what other like travel plans or shows or things are you thinking about for the rest of the year? Well, I, I mean, that's a great, that's I'll a great be at Con probably most likely. I think I may have gotten talked into ICANN Puerto Rico. So, we'll see. Ooh, okay. We'll, we'll see if when, that when, when is that? When is March, that? March. March, yeah, it's probably early, Mar- early March, and then I would like—I'd li- actually like to go to that one, but I—I I, I don't know. It's going to be tough for me. And but then maybe. there's a ICANN in Africa, I think, in June, which sounds really cool. Um, I was talking to Ray King. Cool Shout out to Ray like King. A, that sounds like a lot of effort to get to. You know, that's my only. Yeah. yeah. Where, where is it? It's oh, in Dakar, right? Is, it's in Senegal. Do you need a Kleenex, <laughs> Jonathan? Are you okay? I'm just saying. You know, like I don't. You know, it, is that in Dakar? Where, where is it? Is it Senegal? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not sure. Let me. Is tell it Kenya? You. I, it might be none Kenya. of this shit sounds like oh hey i want to pack a bag you know no offense it's just it's so I, I far actually, from i'm me. dying i'm dying to check dude, out senegal i dude, really want to see some other shit you're like willing to do all that globe trotting for me i'm like Shakey, look, africa you, is you, you're just so an you're fun. just an ignorant american dude africa is it's off not the that charts. i'm not down to go i would like i would like to go if it didn't involve the kind of travel days that would take to get there from where i am it's it's in rwanda you, jt uh oh, sorry wow Oh man, cool. that's literally like high up on my list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool for me. Yeah, you Botswana, guys, Botswana, Botswana is number one for me in Africa. Senegal, yeah. Rwanda. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, those are the places I, I really want to go to Ghana. I went to Shanghai yeah. once, and that shit like literally almost killed me just in the travel back and forth. You know what I'm saying? I was also 50 pounds heavier, and like even just everything was uncomfortable. It was hot. You know what I'm saying? It was a great conference, though. That was really cool. That was the World Domain Conference or whatever it was. And what was crazy cool about that was it was China was kind of going crazy. Um, and there were not a ton of, uh, you know, so obviously we got to meet some of the biggest players in the Chinese domain space, which up to that point were just, you know, literally were, were usernames on Namejet to me. You know what I'm saying? So that was pretty incredible. Plus the folks who had traveled overseas to get there, you know, Frank Schilling, Paul Nix, like, you know, it was, a, it was a great contingent of, you know, of, you know, folks that were not 
from China that also made it really cool because it felt like a really it felt like a special event. So that was really cool. Hey, I'm I'm just gonna throw this out there. I kind of you just said it, and this is something that we used to kind of do. I think we should do like Sherpa meetups around the world. Would be fucking cool. Yeah, that'd so be fun. We, I mean, like, it, it's been sort of in the back of my mind. I mean, Siger started that, right? He he was doing uh, DN Seattle, you know, yeah. uh, which was just a local meetup. You know, for him that was easy. Um, I am very interested in doing that. I the, my problem is two things. One is I'm not organizing an event like. Right. For me, that that's like, I, I'd literally rather be like run over by a train. But, um, you know, if we could, if somebody else could organize those events for us, I would be very intrigued in, in, to do that. I think that it would be uh, productive and it would be useful and it would be fun. <laughs> uh, I hear you, Jim. Well, it's like, but, oh, you mean like the one we did um, out in LA? You know what I'm saying? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> no, no, but I, I think yeah. there's a way to do it where it's not that hard. And, and it's more of a, I, I think it needs to be, this is here the thing, because Drew, you know, we, we did a conference and, and it's not fun. I, I agree. No. With that. I would rather yeah. even worse than run over by a bus. I'd rather have a shooting squad shoot me. So like is that worse firing squad, but no, that's way better, dude. You die quick. I think a bus is faster anyway. Either way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Either way. The point is, I don't think it needs to be complicated. I don't think it needs to be yeah. formal. I think it's yep. just. In each area, look, we got peeps in Dubai. We got peeps in Hong Kong. We got peeps in LA. We got like, we got people everywhere, right? And so we just talk to people that are local and we say, hey, let's do this, you know, in March. You know, help us get, give us some, a few ideas of, of where to stay and where to go. And then whoever wants to go, go. You're not, not everybody's going to go to every show, obviously. And it's just more like, yeah, I, I, it's I, just, a vibe. I, I think these things, the, the, the smaller, you know, ICA type shows are just really nice and they're special. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. No, agreed. And I thought that, again, they did a fantastic job. So we'll see. Uh, to answer your question, Jen, you know, we might make our way to Austin in June. You know what I'm saying? That could be, uh, that might happen. I, I am, I am, uh, I am sincerely planning to go. Um, I got, Luke, there's a bunch of here. things. I got, a, I got a bunch. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I got a bunch of family stuff sort of on either side of that that i gotta sort of juggle but i'm gonna uh I, I am technically i could make it so i'm going to try i'm gonna try and do that for sure um well, you know I i'm not gonna make a be... promise yet but i am going to make a concerted no, but sincere I mean, effort and i will try to be there well and i think because on the flip it's side been a minute like i literally i haven't seen i haven't been to a domain conference since 2019 January 2019. So it's been, you know, it's been almost five years, four years, five years. Uh, yeah, it's been over four years since I was at a domain conference. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, do you even domain? Yeah. Anymore, if you don't <laughs> yeah. go to the conferences, um, the uh, and, and Listen, I think speaking, I'm out here domaining like nobody else is domaining. You feel me? I do. I do feel you're the best. I, I tell you every day, you're the best. Um, but. <laughs> 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 no but hey speaking of sincere effort and whatnot you know and talking to the namescon folks over the last you know couple um you know i think that they're you know our biggest thing with them even last no. year was just by the way i actually am, am admittedly not even close to the best because you know there are others that are out here punking us like amar and i just got punked we just got mm. punked you got you guys we got get punked, punked but, we got punked uh, yeah 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 I, that's uh, but uh, hey at least it's a friend absolutely no <laughs> nothing but love yeah we got yeah. punk nonetheless but my point is is i believe that soren and team are making a pretty sincere effort to really like you know get the conference to really kind of pop this year which i think is really cool and uh you know last year was more of a logistics thing although you know kind of turned into a little like people were thinking we're being overly critical of the conference and stuff but i do think you know as i said you know it's important for these events to really kind of bring it as best they can in order to bring people together and push the industry forward and well, I look feel like, I, i'm not you know, trying to you know 
people got all up on me about like being critical of names kind of like i don't regret any of it like i, I think i actually in hindsight <laughs> You know, hindsight turns out everything I said was 100% correct, both what I said publicly and privately. So, uh, <laughs> so what I, you know, I, what I want is look, if we're going to do these things, it's like, okay, everybody, I wasn't at the IC event and I, I, I regret that. I, I, you know, I don't, I'm obviously, I'm over here in Southeast Asia having a great time. I don't regret not doing that, but like, I regret not being with y'all at the ICA event. I think it probably was a great event. Everybody's had, nothing but positive feedback. I would have loved to have been there. Let's reflect on what was it that made that event great. I think Amar just highlighted a bunch of, you know, bunch of points. Why can't NamesCon do the same thing, right? What stop with the, you know, the DEI content, like, yo, you deserve to be slapped. You put somebody on stage because of DEI, because of, I don't even remember what it stands for. I hope nobody else does either. And it's like Speaking of regret. It's like know, the look on the, Jen's like, face look, when as Drew's just, going off the rails is the regret of coming I'm on the show. I'm not going off the rails. <laughs> I'm being real. And anybody who thinks I'm going off the rails here, you're the problem. So uh, look, we need I'll content look. that helps people grow their business, make more money, get educated, right? No, that's that's, that, that's the, if that, you're not ticking one of those boxes, then get that content out of the schedule. Period. That's I didn't Nobody even know there was anything it. that was even that overly like. Uh, maybe I didn't look at the agenda. It was a last bunch year. of garbage. It's either most of the content last year, okay, which was my biggest complaint, was either being driven by some bullshit DEI agenda, or number two, it was being driven by, uh, you know, sponsor driven agenda, which I, I get that. It's a business and sponsors need to have their say. They need to get their value for contributing and without sponsors is. The show can't go on. I get it. But that has to be balanced with organic, authentic content that actually is helping people have a better business. Period. Full stop. Oh, yeah. That's it. I That's agree only, with that part. The only I reason agree with that. I don't know how to agree with everything to go to these conferences. Two reasons to go to this conference. One, educate yourself, increase, make your business better. No, three, three reasons. Educate yourself, make your business better, make deals network that's it wait so fourth reason the content fourth fourth, fourth reason <laughs> the big trophy for the trophy case <laughs> All right, fourth reason is to go and get you know the second biggest trophy but <laughs> uh, but which is all that anybody can hope for at names con anyways right is to get the second biggest trophy oh, <laughs> anybody, oh. oh. Damn, I, I, damn, I, damn. <laughs> I don't disagree with like what you're saying, Drew. Like, I definitely think that there is, we're now at this place where we really need, like, someone needs to step up with like fresh yeah. ideas and approaches and intention to the space because we, while we're still an industry that's in its infancy, like 20 years in. We have now been doing this long enough that there are people here who, myself, like if I'm going to invest 15 to 20K coming over there, mm -hmm. like for, because that's what the exercise costs me. So the yeah. exercise might cost someone like 10% of that who lives in the States. So it's mm -hmm. a different story. Like if you got to drop a couple of grand on like, you know, hotels and tickets and going there, dinners, expenses, blah, blah, blah. Cool, like easy peasy, like lemon squeezy, like I do that all day yep. long. But if I'm coming all the way over and I'm oh, that flight, getting there, the investment in t not just money but time because we all know when we go to one of these shows, it sets us back like a week or two with work. So you come back to catch up. So I, it just needs to, for someone like me, like I, I am, I think I am more critical of what I'm investing my time and money into when it comes to these events, for sure. Totally. Rightfully so. Which brings me to a great point. I just had an idea. I think Domain Sherpa should have a uh, uh, a uh, scholarship. I think we should have a, a, a conference scholarship, right? And I don't know how we're going to format that or structure it or award it, but we should have some kind of contest and it should be specifically only for let's say relatively or you know truly new domainers 
uh, coming from, you know, third world countries that generally speaking, haven't had the opportunity to, because of resources uh, uh, or distance or whatever it might be uh, to attend these things. I would love that. I would love to sponsor somebody. You know, I've been, I've been working with a couple of guys from one is from Pakistan. You know, there's another guy from Tibet. There's another guy from, um, uh, uh, sorry, not Tibet, Nepal. Uh, 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 where's the other guy from? I forget, but, um, you know, these guys are really out there hustling. They're sending me 25 messages a day. They're out there, you know, putting in work. They're learning the business and they're learning fast. Uh, but these guys could never attend one of these conferences. And I'll tell you what, I'm more See, proud of gentlemen. those guys than I this am of any of these schmucks. I know, I know. Just when you, just when you're like, all right, I'm out. I can't do I it know, anymore. But wait, wait, till back we, wait, wait, wait till what's coming later. I know. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like. So we should, you know, bring these guys over, and then I don't know where, you know, then he's gonna say something terrible. <laughs> I think, no, I think no, that's. No, I think it's I'm a kidding, great I'm kidding. idea. I'm kidding. I think, I think it's, it's a great. great I think no. it's fantastic. Think it's yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. I only have terrible things to say about people that are entitled or just, just. You know, I, uh, there we go. You're like yeah. Dexter. You know what I'm saying? You're uh, fuck, killer, uh, with, yeah, a killer with a code. Fucking title. Killer with a code. Fucking title. Listen, yeah, you, you can lick my boot. You feel entitled to anything? You can lick my boot. You no, know uh, I got something else you can lick that's even better. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the pickleball trophy. Is it your pickleball trophy, Amar? Is that what it is? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's the second what I would, biggest pickleball trophy. You don't, you don't want it. The second biggest pickleball trophy. You don't want to know where that's been. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? I think we've covered a lot of sometimes, ground. Sometimes I feel like the interview lady who has to go into like the locker room, like after when like the boys no, have like played gridiron yeah. and she's standing yeah. there going, hey, yeah, it's a great day. Let's keep what, making what eye contact. Girl, what, hey, this is on the ESPN on, uh, the Ocho. Howard Stern. The Ocho. What, what, oh. was that? what, was, uh, what was the girl on Howard Stern? Robin. Robin Quivers. Oh, Robin. Yeah, you're like Robin. Yeah. She had to She had to put up with some shit. Oh, she did have to put up with some shit. Anyway. Okay. That's still remarkable. <laughs> she well, must have so, signed something that, that didn't allow her to sue because, man, she could have, you know, if you I'm think sure about she, all the stuff did, that people got getting sued fine. for I'm today. Sure she, yeah, I'm sure she did fine. And, uh, you know, played an important role in that show. You know what I'm saying? She was That's like, it. Uh, Shout out Robin. You know what I'm saying? No yeah. entitlement. Just coming and showing up. Get it showing done. Up. Doing her work. Get it done. You know what I mean? None of that sensitivity <laughs> bullshit. I mean, I, yeah. I, well, at some point, you get too sensitive about sensitivity. And it's like this right. whole shit. Comes Let's get into circle, domains. You know yeah, yeah. yeah. Domains. We have not hey, like, man. We have not mentioned a fucking domain. And by the way, we're 43 minutes into this. Well, we talked a lot Let's about go. domain conferences. So again, I, I think, think half of that's be... going to be cut out as well. So it's I think, uh, yeah, exactly. When people are like, what do you mean 45 minutes? This show so far has been 15 minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but big shout out to the ICA. I'm excited to see what NamesCon's putting together. I think that, you know, this year is going to be a wild bonkers year and just in the world. I think it'd be interesting to see, obviously, how everything is going to impact domain names. But you know, it will not be a boring ride. That is for sure. Media Options is the industry's leading domain broker specializing in domain acquisitions, high value domain sales, and domain name consultation. As pioneers and thought leaders on the subject of the domain aftermarket and domain name value, plus through their clear domain acquisition service, Media Options offers startups and established corporations an unparalleled scope of high value domain options, providing access to domain names and curation technologies not available elsewhere. Media Options believes in the power of a great domain name and is dedicated to helping you obtain yours. Call or email today to put a domain to work for you. All right, well, let's do Namejet and a Jet, sponsored by our friends at Namejet, so you all know how this works, right? We've got a list of names coming up for auction. All of these are no reserve expiring auctions. Um, you want to get your back orders in before the back order, order by date so that you're at least reminded. Although, as we had this conversation, you can now jump into auctions kind of midstream. But, you know, if there's a name that you like now, trying to be too cute and wait when it's already got 15, 16, 60 back orders, like you're not helping yourself by not putting a back order in earlier. Uh, and we get no affiliate revenue here. So this is not financial advice or anything like that. We're just trying to help. Uh, so you can go to the site off the page for this episode. You can pull a list, which has the names, Estebot, take those values with a grain of salt, how many back orders is at the time that we tape the show, what the order by date is for the domains, all that good stuff, some links, uh, some other data as well. And uh, yeah, so I was really feeling this list today. So Jen, I'm going to let you go first. 
otherwise Drew is going to be like, all right, how yeah. many names can I talk Drew about? Was, like, Drew, well, yeah, Drew is going to take. That's not true. Ones. I'm always fair. I'm always fair. I tell Drew, it's like, oh. you can talk about four names and they'll talk about eight of them. You know what I'm saying? And be like, what do you mean? I only talked about four. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you gaslighting me. I'm going to have Billy have to go back and count. Run like a yeah. counter. All right. Oh, um, look, but, I, I don't know. I think most of us will pick similar names out of this list anyway. That's why so I'm it number to- one, like the big standout for me is jab.com for sure. And had a little bit of a look into that. Like there's a jab holding company. They're an investment firm. They acquired Krispy Kreme for like 1.3 billion in 2016. Okay. I mean, it's a lovely, okay. nice, you know. So there's potential there, but I mean, also tread carefully. I would say. Yeah. What do you um, think? Well, what do you think about the name Jab.com? I mean, are we? Is Jab now like a negative connotation around the vaccine and all that kind of nonsense, or is no, it? No, like- I think it has also it has multiple negative connotations, but it also has multiple. You could also easily have a positive connotation, right? Like it's yeah. like you know, jab and and move. Ooh, so okay, stick and move. I like it. Flow like a butterfly. I, I, sting like right. Mar, so I, you know I, I think it's I like, like it. it's jab means you're fast, right? You're like yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I, lo- I love jab. I, I yeah. think jab is. I, I love jab. Like yeah, love, and I I would have it. no. I, I love it for the negative and the positive. Right, right. right. I want it all around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. I and love no, that. no concern, no concern in my mind, at least with any kind of TM or anything like that. It's just a great, it's a three letter English word. It's just fucking fantastic. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's literally every single day, there's multiple people that I want to jab. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's shank, bro. That's shank. Yeah. Shank. Exactly. Well, you it's know, like stick it in and snap the handle. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. right, try and pull that out now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, no, I, I uh-huh. love Jab. I love Jab. I think it's an amazing. Yeah, thing. that but that would be my like number one. Um, and I always love a personal name. So, but the thing with Stacy, so S T A C Y, that I struggle Three with spellings. is that you can you well no you can spell it five different ways. I looked oh, it wow. up on Wikipedia. Yeah. So I I, I was a bit E-Y. like. Simple double I, just I. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, Ooh, double. There's a double I version. There's a double I on Wikipedia. They list like if you five meet a girl named Stacy with two eyes. I mean, I hope her, you know, like I mean, you know, two eyes are great as for her as a human being to have. But if she has two eyes in her name, then you're not bringing her home to your mom. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Stacy. Oh, you know what I'm saying. I wasn't even well, gonna go there. Saying, I'm just like, saying. I was waiting for it. I was. We all know. I knew it was coming. Who named Stacy? Billy, but I do not cut there. that. Do not I'm just cut saying, that. Man, I'm saying. Look, you know, and you know. Okay, so oh. Stacy's not coming home to mum. Um, <laughs> I um, so that one I'm a bit like I I love the personal names and that name will still mean a lot to a selection of people. It's their name. So there is still great value in that. Even no, though 100%. the spelling. Well, I think that, look, there's also a lot of talk about first, especially female first names around AI, right? As these AI bots and agents right. are being created and, you know, for all different yeah. purposes, some more, you know, X rated than others. But the other thing with a name like Stacy, it's also a last name. It's not just a first name, but it's also a last yeah. name. That's true. And I think those create, yeah. you know, in some ways, even, you know, a whole nother, you know, sort of swath of people mm-hmm. that it could apply to because last names yeah. are also traditionally can be businesses, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, so brand names. Yeah. And I would just say the only other one that I would table, um, I kind of like it because it's kind of got the hippie vibe about it is the wonderful, which um, I just like it as a cute name for a brand. Um, it's kind of got that wellness alignment. And if you look, if, if you do a quick search, there's quite a few companies that are I going love, by this I name. I love this name. So here's yeah. the thing. This actually yeah. came up, I think, on the first show that I did um, as the host two years ago or whatever it was. I actually was. We might even be in three years now. With uh, I'm pretty sure it was the one with Amanda, Shane, Drew, and this name came up then in expiry. So I don't know if somebody bought it in auction and it is now coming back up. And this is one of the underrated aspects of an expiry stream and an auction platform and why GoDaddy and Paul Nix 
shout out to Paulie because I was kind of, you know, give him a hard time earlier. So I will now give him a, pay him a compliment, but I, um, you know, not just him, but the way that GoDaddy's always approach their expiry when they bring on new expiry partners, they re- they pull the names into GoDaddy when they do it, right? Because, you know, again, it's one of the underrated aspects of having domains is that the life cycle of domains gives you the opportunity to monetize it when a name expires. And then in some cases, and I would see this when I managed Namejet, is that you'd see names coming up more than once, you know what I'm saying? And like literally sell for 10 grand and then shit expires. And then four years later, you're selling it for 20 grand. And it's like, you know, Isn't that crazy of- though? Like I, I love uh, that serendipity like flow of domains as well. It's quite funny, like a little side story. I can't mention the name or anything, but we sold one of Adam's names and we sold it for like low to mid fives. But lo and behold, like 12 months later, we're still caught in the mix of this, I don't know what you would call it, Um, but with other people now trying to get it and we're kind of stuck in the middle because of all, and it's so, it's just this like recycling of, you know, and, and, and these people didn't even use the name and literally there's like a $250,000 offer on it now. (laughs) So it's just, it's, you just never know. Like that's the, the interesting part like that I love about this industry. There's just so many unknowns and surprises really. Yeah, we we sold blooddiamonds.com oh, years ago. I was looking at that, and then and and it, 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 I, you know, I think we sold it for like twenty five thousand, and then boop, it's on uh, it's on GoDaddy's an expired domain name now. Yeah, I think actually, I think the auction ended yesterday. I don't know what it, it ended. Went to. It already good. ended, but I was watching that name. Do you, you know what it went yeah. to? No, but I was thinking it would be a great lead gen for a. Um, uh what do you call those uh, lab grown diamonds yeah dude lab grown diamonds are where it's at now i mean it's like there's literally zero difference and it's like oh hey wait so it's half as much and without any of the exploitation and you know all the fucking terrible well, shit. perfect and no flaws and yeah flaws. i mean it's like so, why you know, would you... i sold it was on, it was on an earlier sherpa but i sold vray v-r-a-i dot com to the biggest lab grown diamond uh oh wow company. v-r-a-i damn son well, and, and you guys didn't, you guys were thinking VRAI and that was the thing, but it, it means uh, real or sorry, it means true in French. Okay. So, um, also, I mean, that I shit like has that. like, I hope you, how much you sell it for? Can you tell us? It was six figures. Okay. How long ago? Three years ago, I mean, it was a while ago. Okay. It was, yeah, it was a while. At, at the time, Love you guys name, all thought though. it was Love like it a, for all a, purposes. You know, that's you a guys great thought one. it was like a 10k name. I think <laughs> back then, 10 or 20k. Yeah, yeah. well, because it, it's one of those names that, like, it, you know, what I call false franks. It, it looks like word soup of popular terms, right? But, yeah. uh, but in this case, it had a meaning. Yeah. yeah, I like I like it a lot. But anyway, wonderful was one that when it came up in the like literally the first show that we did. I was like, this name is just speaks to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like, like it. Like, it's yo, got that wanderlust and that. You tell like, me this wouldn't be a fucking killer travel name. You know what I'm saying? Like, wonderful. Yeah. Like, amazing. Nah, you no, know, so like, I, I think wonderful is a great brand. Yeah. Like, I love you know, it. I, 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 I check your trademarks. I'm sure there's a that's, bunch. That's what I'd worry about is the trademark. There are so, there are registered. There are a bunch, and the the main and, and one that's like ranking scope. first. It's yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the scope of what it, what are you going to do with Wonderful, right, is yeah. pretty narrow, right? It's clearly going to be something in the travel space, and yeah. so it's all the combi van it, people. It's going to be it's all the combi van yeah, people. Yeah, but that that puts you in a difficult spot. So you buy that name. Fair. Yes, yes, you're you right. Know, this is you're, one. It's going to be. One it's you have it's to a be tricky careful. name. You you, you got to have a very yeah. clear, uh, yeah. let's say you know, channel of 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 you know. Yeah. Um, you know, seek legal counsel before you go drop a bunch of money on this name. It, it could also be if you want to go outside of travel. I agree, it's it's an amazing travel brand. That's what I would be thinking of. But it could also be just like it's like wanderlust. It's like wanderlust, but hiking hiking boots and like you know like hiking gear. You know that no, would be cool. I, I'm thinking of like the way my brain works, where it's just like it wanders. Right. So it's like your mind wandering. And so it's a way of of like ex- d- discovery of different of any different 
subject or topic, right? Like it could mindfulness. Be- mindfulness would be a cool. There's a thing. wellness yeah, vibe like- here. Yeah. I mean, look, I think it's just yeah. super positive and very like, you know, it's just, you know, cool. Yeah. I like it. But- I'm, I'm and good. the only one the only one I didn't like on this list, just to unless anyone else wants yep. to No, this is good. Go ahead. Anything. Give us a not like and then we'll move along. Uh the only one that I didn't like and I was wondering if you put it in there for me was the misspelling of Aussie. And yeah, I mean, so- <laughs> you don't like that? Like that shit. Like I'm like, this is this. I gotta put Jen's coming on the show. I gotta throw this one in there. You know? No, but it could be Oz A U S I. Yes, yes, it could. It could. It could. And and therefore, the more you have to explain it, the worse, the worse it is. You know, know. The lo- you know, if you got to explain the value, it's like then you know. I didn't yeah. say I'm I liked done, it. Then we're done here. <laughs> you know. No, I know. Yeah, I know. that's I'm the only it. one. Yeah. That was the only one that I was a bit like, oh, I don't know. I just, it doesn't, for radio test and then even like visually, I know that it's the four letters, but I just didn't, I don't know. It didn't right. vibe with me. Wasn't feeling right. it. All right. She wasn't feeling it. All right, cool. Well, Drew, what about you? We'll let you have the next pass at this. What are you, anything she talked about, didn't talk about, like, don't like that we haven't already covered? Um. Uh- I mean, I like Tang, T E N G. I, I think mm-hmm. that's a, a a great brand. Um, For what? Uh, uh, I don't know. You know, something yet to be determined. Uh, you know, I bet you. Let's see. Quick Google search. I'm sure there's a bunch of Tang. Uh, it's you know, it's yeah. a name. Uh, I looked that one up too. It's a. Oh, are you joking? Did, yeah. Look in 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 it's Chinese 10G. mythology. In Chinese mythology, it's a flying dragon. Like. Are you Ooh. kidding me? This is this name is that's cool. straight G. That's cool. I, I love yeah. Tang. Tang is this is straight Tang ten is G, you feel me? Ten G. Yeah. <laughs> ten G. Uh I am I'm a big fan of Tang. I that that's actually the name that you know, Jab is obviously, you know, the clear winner here, but yep. uh Tang stands out to me as a killer, killer name. Um other than that. Uh, insurancebusiness.com isn't bad. You know, I, we used to, uh, I think we sold that name many years ago, but like back in the early 2010s, I think we sold insurancebusiness.com or no, maybe, maybe we sold insurancecompany.com actually. Um, uh, that's it. Uh, you know, our right, institute. Well. Well, wait, before is, you start doing okay, that thing, you do this is what he does. He starts rattling them off quick. He's like, ba 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 ba. I should well, let you go simmer last. down, simmer down with that. So I far, I've seen two domains. Then just rattle off, I don't know, About three, two. four, five. About two. I get two. At least three. Yeah, Jen, Jen talks too much. She dominates. Insurance the- business, the- Art Institute, and. Man, I got Tang. nothing That's but three. haters. Nothing but three. haters. Three. <laughs> Hey man, I'm just trying to keep you I'm on. Just, it, I'm just, man. you know, I'm, I'm that, I'm the pioneer taking arrows on the back. Oh man, hey, look, you know, you're Lewis and I'm Clark, man. It's all good. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know which one was which in that relationship. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, I'm. Well, you are supposed to be walking just one step behind me, so the arrow's going your back. You know, feel? Yeah, me? we're in front, so they get hit me in the face. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm, I, I'm, wondering, I'll, I'll be, I'm whichever be. guy was nicer with having a row. You know what I'm saying? Can, While can the I other dude the, journaled in the front. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, or can I can I be the um the like Pocahontas or like the <laughs> and that's what and I'll be the indigenous person. I'm there not sure go. what to even say about that. I don't even know where we go from there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. All right, go ahead, Amar. Keep go going, ahead. Drew. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I'm done. So th- there's one on here that was uh, pretty funny. So <laughs> savemoney.org was my name. Lo- love that. Yeah, I like that name. That was my name a long time ago. That was one of our thought convergence names that somebody bought it two or mm. three years ago and dropped it. Yeah. Uh, oh, snap. <laughs> So that was a bad drop because that's a great name. Yeah. Um, so I feel like that name's one of those that, you know, when you look at it compared to the, the Estabot appraisals, I just feel like that's worth, you know, a lot of times it's, they're not worth what, or, you know, actually uh, Estabot that's appraisal worth way worth more than the Estabot appraisal. That's what I mean. You know, yeah. that would be an example yeah. of that, that I thought right. that was super light. So I mean, uh, of course we already talked about jab. So that that's gone. Um, and we talked about wonderful. So, the other, I you know, Art Institute is great, but the art, that's about appraisals way off. Uh, but that's a great, great name. Uh, I was just in Chicago, and and there's an Art Institute there, and I'm I'm sure there's one in most major cities. 
But um, I like. But they want to be. They want to go by their brand. You know what I mean? It's like. Well, it's called. It's called Art Institute. It's called the Art Institute of Chicago. Uh, Exact Art right. Institute of Chicago, right? Yeah, right. Chicago it's Art Institute. Lost in the mix. You know. Right. Yeah. But but the, overall, I would say, JT, you put together. It's like a, we own, like we own really bio, great list we, here. Wait, we wait. Drew, let him, let him say what he was going to say. Biosciences.com or something like that. <laughs> Hold on. Let I'm him finish. Say that, Go ahead. Let I'm going to say that JT put a really, really good list here. Um, I think I would bid. And will be at least, or at least be in the awesome on every one of these names. Um, the only one I guess I I don't love is supplies.net, but I think every other name is worth bidding on. Um, yeah, it's well, I mean, it's a net, and uh, you know, what what about patented.com? I like that, I I like that. I I get a lot of shit because I I uh, because it's a past tense and it doesn't pass the radio test, um, but it's. I think well, how does a, it not pass the radio test? Isn't it the right spelling of patented? No, and no, I feel no, like it that's is. like a patented, patented approach. Uh, a patented. No, I guess this. you know what? I guess it does. It could pass the radio test, but people don't like past tense names. Yeah. Um, well, okay, and I'm with you, right? So when you talk about tense names, uh, another one on this list that I added because I actually thought it would be interesting to kind of talk about the same thing is you know, you've got exterminating.com, you yeah. know, on here, yeah. which I yeah. also think is kind of funky just based on the. You know, right. I think you have telemarketing dot com like, like or dot com. Yeah, definitely better than exterminating. Even though exterminating, you might be able to argue is a bigger business, but I don't think people yes. search for exterminating. Whereas, no, I mean, but if you if you think about these keywords as well, so like exterminate being the the core word, right. or patent, patent, tomato, tomato, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever that core word is. Oz, Oz. Lean, leaning. It, that's right. Leaning into these like prefixes and suffixes is also, I think, options for people when they're looking at names if they can't afford that core word. And we do see a lot of people like launch on the LYs or the FYs or whatever it is because, hacks, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, so I prefer, I don't mind it. Like, I prefer the, um, I would prefer patented to patenting. And I would prefer exterminated to exterminating. Yes. Both of those. Patented could also be patent ed, like patent education. I don't know. Mm. Oh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Jen, thank you, Jen. At least Jen was like, I'll humor you by doing an, doing some kind of a positive reaction. Whereas Amar was like, you suck. You, <laughs> no. know, you wouldn't even get a second place trophy for that. No, um, no. Between, but do you agree between exterminated yeah, 100%. Between I think, or exterminated? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. I think that the different suffixes, you know, obviously matter and kind of and very much to Jen's point, it depends sort of on the, the word and how the word is used. And I think patented is, is a word that's, you know, commonly used, but then, yeah. you know, would it be legal services, some kind of patent search, some kind of patent monitoring, something like that, patent filing, you know, yeah, yeah. there's probably I like that. some, there's something cool around that, but exterminating is probably a bigger commercial application based on the fact that more people need an exterminator than need a patent help with a patent. You know? so, yeah. No, so um, no, no, exactly. That's that's yeah. that was my point. Is like one is a bigger market, but yep. one's a better domain name. Yeah. yeah, I'm with it. And um, obviously, you know, if you do the search to see which one's actually being used by, you know, a potential buyer that could be, you know, interesting too. Then, then, you know, but yeah, even looking at the search for it, you know. Yeah. So, um, but it's a great list. A great list. Yeah, well, thank you, man. Yeah. According to the, well, according to the search data that we have here, patented is significantly more than exterminating. Yeah. I mean, although the cost per click is less, that's weird. So, but search, search exterminate versus patent. I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. interesting. Well, good stuff. All right, cool. Well, that's the list. And, uh, you know, so uh, I'm glad we got through pretty much all the names. What about computer classes? Computerclasses.com? I mean, that's only going to go up, right, in searches, I think, with with AI and people like, and, and people's like traditional careers or career paths getting displaced. And they're, everybody's going to tell them, well, go learn computers. So there you go. Kind of think that, yeah. that could be a great 
Last one since we're on the list, so we might as well just run it to ground since we're talking about pet safety. Pet safety. Would this be like the equivalent of trying to save a falcon at the wet market? Yes. Pet safety? <laughs> Which is a whole different story from another day from Drew and, you know, it's out there trying to save the world. You know, People love their pets more than their kids, so, yeah, good. 100%. 100%. Um, all right. Well, it was like Drew said earlier, I, it's in the B roll, but you know, where he's like, he likes animals and nature more than people. So, you know, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, but I think he loves his kids more than pets. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's fair. That's, fair. <laughs> that's his own kids. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about other people's kids. Um, <laughs> anyway. All right. Look, it's getting late. I think we covered a lot of ground. I don't think we need to double back into the domain game unless you guys want to show off a name or two. So, all right, then let's save it for the next show. Um, all right, we got anything else? We covered the ICA meeting, which was great. Again, big shout out to them. We talked a little bit about NamesCon, which we're looking forward to. Uh, more to follow on all of that good stuff. I mean, you know, we're, we're into 2024. We're a couple weeks in. Jen, how you feeling otherwise? You're super busy, I know. So super crazy. Anything else going on that you want to talk about or mention or – any any really? vibes? No, that yeah. Share? I'm just I am just focusing. 2024 is a year of focus for me. Mm, um okay. and I I've I've definitely got to do that. Last year was the year of fun and I had tons mm. of fun. Um, but this year definitely got to focus. Really like time management. I got a lot going on, a lot of travel and stuff. So uh, I'm super excited and it's cool to catch up with you guys because I, I had said to you, JT, I was like, I don't know how much time I have this year, but um, we're going to make time. Yes, that's make- what I'm talking about. Well, and, you know, look, I think that taking advantage of a situation like this where, you know, because one thing we can do a later show that doesn't involve Drew, but obviously, you know, then Drew starts to feel a certain way about not being included. So this actually works. No, out that's not us. true. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> he pays for the I mic. I tell you. <laughs> I tell you to do that all the time. Don't put <laughs> that just, on me. I'm just playing, <laughs> man. I'm just saying this is a good opportunity. I'm I'm glad everybody was a good sport show. being able to get on this early, you know, and uh, with short notice. And, uh, you know, so it was all good. I'm glad we were able to make this work. Obviously, it was great seeing you in person, Amar, just as of last week. So, you know, I've probably had my fill now. So we'll see you in a couple of months. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, no, it's all love, man. A big shout out to Josephine, too, you know, so. It's so great so I just want to end with who who had Russia taking Alaska back on their bingo card for 2024. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't, uh, you know. So I guess you know Putin has made a declaration saying that that sale is invalid. So you know, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll see. That's wild. Well, that that's gonna that's gonna get gonna interesting. Be an interesting year. Well, yeah. you know, here's the thing between the election and a bunch of other stuff. It's like it is gonna get crazy, and it's like, man. Can everybody just chill on the crazy stuff so that we could focus on just making nah, money? So here's the deal. Put your head. Jen said it right. Just focus. Okay. You know, I, I would, I would maybe, maybe in your peripheral vision, keep an eye on, you know, Russia taking Alaska from the United States. Uh, you know, might be good to just have an eye on that, but, uh, you know, put, keep it, an eye look, on this really is, keep an eye 2024, on 2024 is going to be all sorts of crazy. Uh, like, I, I I think it's I think there's going to be some things that like are unimaginable, but are actually going to be real and are going to happen. Uh, and I think that I think it's going to literally set a new bar for crazy. Um, so fasten your seatbelts, but you know, stay focused. Just you can't influence these things. You can't change whether or not Putin's going to take you know Alaska back to Russia. You just got to put your head down. You got to do the best for you, the best for your business, the best for your family. Do what you can do, but yeah, fasten your seatbelt and yeah. be mentally prepared because we about to turn up the dial on crazy. Uh, yeah, so there's a great uh, say. Oh, sorry, Amar. No, go ahead, go ahead, John. No, no, I was just going to say there's a great saying. It stands still amongst the crashing waves, and I like that. you know. Yeah, good, because I wrote it and came up with it. <laughs> Did but you? anyway. Oh, wow, look at that. I love how she threw out her own shit. And I'm yeah, like, she's oh, like, oh, yeah, there's a saying. That's so poignant. Is that Emerson? That's amazing. You know? Is that, but, uh... but it is. No, it's it's one thing that I've, like, had as my, like, mantra, like, for a very long time, because it's so easy to get caught up in chaos. Like, and we are living in a chaotic time. Like, 
I, I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm just like, oh my gosh, I just need to clock out, get off these devices, go and like reconnect with nature, do all of that stuff. Um, breath work, yes, important. Now, yeah. um, so yeah, I just, yeah, I think it, like we are in a very chaotic time and it's really important to stay focused and just keep your head down, keep doing what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Um, don't get distracted. Distractions everywhere. Yeah. Well, yeah, for me, 2024 is about organization and execution. So I think everyone's probably got that same kind of like, hey, we've got different things as we come into the new year, what we're focusing on. And uh, and it might just be focus, like you said, Jen, you know, and, uh, uh, and yeah, it's going to be add, bonkers, man, just craziness. It's going to be crazy. Right. So what I'll add to that is that. What is that? That's my moon bear, Bill. That's that's my moon oh. bear. Feel me? Uh, please finish your thought. <laughs> what I'll, no, what I'll add is, is kind of it's just you know going similar to what you know, or I guess going on what you're saying, off of what you're saying. Uh, this is going to be a, a crazy fucking year, but or and with chaos comes opportunity, and I think that. Your statement, Jen, basically is keep your wits about you and and stay calm and and just watch and observe and pick your pick your moments and and you will have moments. You'll have chances to make a lot of really there, there's gonna be a lot of really great opportunity, I think, this year. I've had I've had one of the best starts to the new year in a long time. So I've actually had a, an amazing January so far. Um, so I think it's going to be a great year, especially if, uh, if you're ready. Yeah. So no, you're ready. Hey, I'm totally with that. Meanwhile, Drew's like flipping all these loud pictures. The moon, moon bear is a badass, by the way. Like I want a moon bear. How, how big is it? Are moon they- bears big. It's a big bear. It's like, uh, you know, on his back legs, I bet he's about nine feet, eight feet. Oh, it's, it's like no, a, that's a big, it's that's, basically, that's big. it's basically a, a black bear to me it looks like a black bear the only difference is they got like a white crest on their on their chest um uh, some of them look like a uh uh you well, know like a crescent moon it looks like well, they got it a crescent like moon they almost have chest. like some sort of wide face narrow snout kind of situation yeah they got a longer snout than a black bear uh but it's basically a big black bear with a with a crescent say oh man this this picture was supposed to be way better but you can't see the bottom of it the bottom of it is this wild inside a waterfall craziest yeah. waterfall i've ever seen the water is like oh, dude, the pictures the crazy. pictures you were sending and posting on on ig i was literally saying they look like they were created with ai i mean it's an entire yeah. different world. Yeah. by the way that is that a praying mantis that's ready be ready to fucking attack <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing right now man and then like... that happens <laughs> Yo, you should have had that shit rocking the whole time, man. That money printer behind you, man. I love that. Money that's printer hilarious. go burr. Go burr. I love that. That's, that's, a, that's a good look for you, man. That's a good look. <laughs> Top of all them Benjamins, man. All right. Well, listen, y'all. This was great. I appreciate everybody jumping on today. Uh, big shout out to Namejet. Big shout out to, to Dan.com and our sponsors. Big shout out to Media Options. Big shout out to Evergreen. You know what I mean? Big shout out to Lau. All that good stuff. Hey, and, what about uh, fucking big shout out to Omar? Uh, it's always a big shout out. Every day is a big shout out to Omar. Big, you know big, what I'm saying? Big shout out to Josephine. Yeah, yeah, big shout out to Josephine. She really is. Big shout out to Sore Losers. Oh, man. <laughs> big shout out to Sore Losers. I was being a sore loser when we lost, but I do feel like, you know, my. That's my uh, saying, but, you know, we got, we got sore losers all over. I mean, yeah, it's not just me. It's not just me. They're worse ones than me. But um, but instead, I'm going to use it as fuel to get better so that next time when we play a year from now, yeah. you know, not only you know, I'm, I'm going to make a run at this thing. Even if Josh shows up, I'm going to tell him, even if you show up, man, I'm taking it. I don't care. Dude, let, let's do you. <laughs> and and so I don't know who the teams will be, but it'll be you and me and Josh and, and Kennedy. And we'll figure Ooh. out some teams. It'll be fun. See? I like it. That's the top four right there. Everybody else, you know, Alleman, you know what I'm saying? Siger. Nope. You didn't make the cut right there. You didn't make the <laughs> cut, y'all. So, um, but no, man. No, hey. Siger's an elderly, so you can't, you know, you got to give a, oh, give a little man. handicap. You know, feel me? 
Oh, man. Mike, it was great hanging out with you, man. I'm sorry we can't be friends anymore after that. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to miss hanging out with you, bro. Um, but yeah. He no, still, like, he probably, he'd still wallop me in probably most athletic stuff, though. Except yeah, boxing. So, I, I, you know, I set him back a decade in boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know when we got off the, the reservation here so much, but it happened. I think it happened early. Um, I, I like this time slot a lot for us. This is kind of working for me. <laughs> All right, listen, guys, I appreciate everything. You know what it is. Thank you so much for joining today. As always, it is super, super appreciated. To the audience, guys, you know what I say. If it wasn't for you, there would be no us. And, uh, you know, you guys, I got a ton of great feedback. Again, tons of compliments, some stuff that was constructive criticism, really not a ton of that, but, you know, um, definitely a lot of love when we were out there at the ICA meeting for Domain Sherpa. And, uh, you know, just for all you who tune in, it is extremely appreciated. It's why we're here. You know, hopefully y'all get some enjoyment and some information and some guidance out of this. That's hopefully helpful. And, uh, by the way, did you you guys actually record any Domain Sherpa content? Nah, you know, it was one of those things where we were going to, you know, that's why we told you we were going out there so that you would agree. Yeah, it was kind of the point. It was like the whole point. You know what I'm saying? And uh, (laughs) I was gonna, but then like, you know, like we got stuck at the casino and then it was the bar. No. Um, Yeah, you got too busy buying drinks and giving gummies to our enemies. That's what I hear. Hey, that's, me. that's me that's me that's <laughs> me no you're not the enemy you're you know you you are you're you're an ally, an ally. you're an ally <laughs> um no look you know what I'm the saying that, the, there's the, an the, axis of evil and there's a you know there's the allies you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I, I am i am iraqi i don't know wait am i was i the axis of evil was no. iraq no nah, no nah. iran look no, I, it was iran north korea and and Russia? Yeah, Iraq, Iraq was oh. never part of the Axis. What war was that? Oh. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about like back in the day when it was like Germany and Italy and Russia, right? And yeah, then... Axis of Eagle was World War II. No, so... World, actually, it was no, World War I. That was, no, 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 no. no. That was Japan. Japan. Was... No, 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 no. Axis of Eagle. Axis North, of Eagle? North Korea, Iran, and... Fact check. A bunch of people failing like fucking geography or uh, you know like social studies one hundred and one. Like this is bad, guys. You know what I'm saying? We gotta. Um, are you googling? All right. It was yes. World War Two. It was the World War Two Axis powers: Nazi Germany, Fascist Italy, and Imperial Japan. Oh, Japan! I thought it was Russia. No. Okay. Here you and, go. No. And, sorry. And here the Soviet go, Union. And the Soviet Union. Drew. Thank you. The phrase axis of evil was first used by U.S. President George W. Bush and it originally referred to Iran, Iraq, and North Korea. Okay. Hey, look, maybe we're all right. All I know is, you know what I'm so saying? I, this, is why, this is why we can't be all so super uh, anti-woke that we Ronald don't want to actually Reagan, have kids getting Ronald, educated in school on important histor- historical events. You know what I'm saying? Ronald so, Reagan. Can't ignore the past. That's all I'm saying. Ronald Reagan first <laughs> used it. To describe Nazi Germany, fascist Italy, Imperial Japan, uh, as applied by Ronald Reagan uh, to the Soviet Union. Like, bang! See, let's go. I think that makes me correct. So I won the, ge- the the geography game, even though it's not geography. Here on Domain Sherpa, we didn't do the domain game, but we did the uh, the you know the history game. I'm feeling pretty good about my performance. Um, <laughs> all right, <laughs> guys, they're gonna be like, "Yo, this show is off the wall." I don't know what was going on with everybody, but there was, was bad control. Anyway, listen to the audience. I appreciate y'all. You guys are the best. Uh, you're why we're here. Hit us up. You got any questions, comments, all that good stuff. Uh, you'll definitely see some interesting folks here on Sherpa over the course of this year, along with some pretty interesting things we're also going to be doing. We got some good stuff in the work. So, you know, um, keep stay tuned for all that. And, uh, and otherwise, we'll see you guys next time here on Domain Sherpa. We're all roads lead to domains. And a bunch of other stuff, too. Peace out, (laughs) y'all.